There's just this look. It's all about the courage and the charisma and the presentation. Can you see the lady? Can you see how beautiful she looks? I want that. I'll relax for all the days of my life. Even with relaxed hair, it's still your hair. I just want to look like my other age mates because everybody relaxed their hair. So this past summer, I was lucky to get the chance to spend some time with my family back in Nigeria. And one day while we were at a market shopping, we passed by a little girl at a stand laying down on another young girl's lap with a relaxer on her head. No one seemed to pay any mind to this at all, except for me. And as the rest of my family walked on, I decided to stay back and say hello to the little girl. She was sweet and friendly as we interacted, but the whole time I couldn't seem to take my focus off the chaos of the market mixed with the calmness of the little girl and the openness with which she had laid down at her stand with a relaxer on her head. And even after I left, I kept thinking about it all. And really in a broader sense what I was thinking about was the use of relaxers in Nigeria as a whole. So as a Nigerian American YouTuber living in America with relaxed hair, I am more often surrounded by a growing push away from relaxers in favor of natural hair, with the ongoing natural hair movement happening here in America. But what's actually happening back in Nigeria? What do Nigerians living in Nigeria currently think about natural versus relaxed hair? What are the connotations surrounding black hair in a place where everyone is black and race isn't as much of a daily concern? I really want to understand the truth about having natural versus relaxed hair in a place like Nigeria. So I did some digging. I traveled around Nigeria, reached out to people of all different backgrounds and looked for answers. When I let Nigerians living in Nigeria tell their own story about their hair, what I found surprised me. One of the people I spent most of my time with while in Nigeria was my grandmother. She is one of the few people in my family who actually has natural hair. So I asked her why. My journey begins with her and takes so many twists and changing viewpoints that at first honestly left me with more questions than answers. But by the end, ultimately changed the way I think about my hair. Me <laughs> I started relaxing my hair after my high school graduation. I just want to look like my other age mates because everybody relaxed their hair. I think it's what is going on at that particular time that when you reach that age, you want to relax your hair and look like everybody. Before I started relaxing my hair, my hair was cut low because of the school policy. After relaxing my hair, I would go to the salon so they can style it for me. I can leave my hair without braiding or if I decided to, to braid it, I can do the same.
to realize before we do it. If it is due, if it is natural, we don't find. It depends on the person that made the effort. Who mm -hmm. is my mom? Well, let's say it's the back. Okay. But that is the one you are putting the, you make on your hair. <laughs> so you like people to relax their hair first exactly. before you, okay. Exactly. To make it beautiful. I hold this natural. It's an old woman. As a cotton, she don't lay on you. I don't dare to be my son, I don't want to share on you. I'll relax for all the days of my life because it makes me the good. My name is Fola Dara Akinjai. Live in Nigeria, Lagos, Somali. Do Patewa, all back, Shuku, C and O. Hello, Ikin, Bays, Atewa, and Alba. I like my hair because it makes me look like a lady. I don't like to bob my hair. And when you come in there, it won't be coming out and painting it that much. I started relaxing my children here when they get start getting cranky and it was not easy for me to comb their hair anymore. As you go today, Two years back, we can say 70% uh, chemically treated and 30% virgin. Uh, presently, I'll say 50-50. A lot, a lot has happened in the past few years. So I traveled to Nature's Gentle Touch, one of the largest hair care companies in Nigeria, to ask them about what they've been seeing in the Nigerian hair care market as a whole. People are becoming more conscious, people are becoming more and more. There is that desire to know more about their hair, people want to have healthy hair. It's just like even with um, eating now, a lot of people when you get to the stores and buy products, you'd actually see people flipping it and looking at the information behind, looking at the ingredients and compositions, you know, so I think that isn't just with food now, people are starting to do it with um, hair products, beauty products in general. I got tired of using relaxers. The last time I relaxed my hair, they really spoiled my hair, like they burnt my hair. So I cut part of it and I just left it. People were like, ah, you are your natural hair. But I just noticed that at the point, all my friends were actually natural. Like, at first, it didn't occur to me, but I was like, ah, what was that natural? <laughs> I guess maybe they saw how natural looks like on me or other people, and they're like, it's actually fine. So, it went ahead also to go natural. Everybody's going natural. I remember then, if you're natural, you look awkward or you look weird. Look at you as others, only <laughs> like those set of people that don't believe in braiding. You know, there are some people they call them like SEO or deeper lives, they don't really believe in. But all of a sudden, people start noticing that natural actually makes you look more beautiful. Okay, well, they don't really call it the natural hair movement, maybe like a form of identity to show that yes, they are blacks and this is their natural hair, this is the way their hair really is, without using those products that will make their hair relaxed and all. So, I feel this, if they're doing that way, it's not bad. And yeah, I actually didn't know about that before, because people just started going natural, and people started noticing that actually having your natural hair is not bad. 
it's something that is trending among students, uh, at least particularly for students in Nigeria. I don't know, there's just this look about natural hair. More and more people have moved from their chemically treated hair to virgin hair. But it's the same thing. I've seen most of those people who have moved from chemically treated hair to virgin hair come back to, uh, to chemically treated hair. People actually want natural hair, but not, not much people want to go through the stress of actually going be natural buying the product and all. They feel natural hair is expensive and it's difficult to take care of. But there's this weave on they do, like a bun, looks like natural hair, so they just attach it to their relaxed head, so, you know, feel among. <laughs> I was virgin till about May 2017 and then I decided to relax my hair. Just wanted to have something, feel something different. I've always been on the virgin hair journey, so for me it was the norm. So it's the opposite where most people start out having retouched hair, growing up having retouched hair. You know, but if you've always had natural hair, you, want, you wonder what it is like to have relaxed hair and that's what happened to me. Growing up, I didn't have a challenge with hair. Even with the length as it was then, maybe because with years I'd gotten used to understanding the regime that works for my hair, taking care of it and everything like that. I think I just wanted to try something different. Even with relaxed hair, it's still your hair, right? It's still, it's still you because your hair is relaxed, you're less of an African. Now, you know, I have my retouched hair, you know. I think we've come to an age where we realize that having a fro isn't a bad thing. You know, being dark skinned isn't a bad thing. You know, it's saying two, three, four people that other ladies look up to and you see them in their virgin hair and you see the way they carry themselves with their virgin hair. You know, it's all about the courage and the charisma and the presentation. It then makes you decide, okay, you know what, I want to carry a virgin hair, you know, so we've come to a point where we've, we've, we acknowledge that we have kinky hair and we are embracing it. Hence the rise in um, virgin hair products and the rise in people transitioning to virgin hair. Be you virgin or relaxed, we are embracing it. Most people are unrelaxed. But the natural hair is not a normal thing among ladies here. So I came in looking for an answer. And well, I got multiple. I got to understand how relaxers actually came in and how they grew and grew and grew and then kind of declined and could possibly grow back again. I got to learn that what's happening in Nigeria is kind of like what's happening in America, a lot, a lot of change. So yes, there is a tight hold onto relaxers in Nigeria and it is a hold that is becoming weaker, just like in America, but not necessarily for all the same exact reasons. When I was talking with my grandmother about the coming of relaxers into Nigeria, I was surprised by how nonchalant she was in talking about it. How something from the outside, from the white people, as she put it, was coming in and causing so much change, and that she didn't really speak of it as a bad thing at all. She just kept saying it was a new time. Relaxers had come in and they really came in hard, to the point where what was a thing of the outside quickly became a Nigerian norm. My mom wanted relaxed hair because all of her Nigerian friends had relaxed hair. And the braider liked relaxers because she felt like they added to the beauty of traditional Yoruba braided styles as contributing to rather than going against traditional African ways. And Nimi looked at me like I was saying something crazy when I mentioned the link between race and the decision to wear natural hair as part of the natural hair movement happening in America. She had never thought of it in that way. Relaxers in Nigeria had just become so much of a norm
for the incoming generations. So much that it would actually become weird to not relax here. Until it wasn't. Until there was a sudden shift. Whether because of trend, lifestyle changes, health, or anything else, there was, is, a shift. And the timing of this shift is interesting. I don't think it's a coincidence. In fact, Nigeria represents just another large piece of what is becoming a global shift. A global shift from relaxes. And it's something that not too many people are talking about. That is, relaxers and their use by Black women in African countries post a white presence. Their dominance, their growth, and their now decline. But it's a story that I'm happy to be able to now understand.